Hey everybody, this is Brian Gardner, Principal Developer Advocate at WP Engine. In today's video, I'm going to walk through how to build a single post page with the featured image up at the top, post title overlaying it, and then beyond that, take it to the archive page and show you how to pull in featured images there as well. Let's get started. Okay, so I mentioned we're gonna do a little bit of building for single post pages with the featured image block, and it's gonna be really, really cool. But before that, I actually wanna showcase a really cool feature within our local development tool. And we are gonna be using, as you can see here, the Frostscape Blueprint. This is an easy to import one-click uh, website that you could use to play around in building with blocks. It's Frost based. So I'm gonna clone this so that we could do the tutorial that we're gonna do today. So I'm gonna go here. I'm in local right now. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hit clone site. I'm just gonna call this featured because th that's what we're doing. So it's cloning the site in local so that it, I don't overwrite the, uh, the original one. So once this gets through, I'll go ahead and do this and now I've got my featured site and it's going to update everything and then I'm going to go ahead and open this up and we're going to start building so I'm going to go into the WP admin we are going to just keep on going okay so what we're looking at here I'm going to right click and open up my screen this is the blueprint that comes and it's uh, you can see it's a little bit of opinionated design it's got some pre-fill content uh, it's using style variations, this teal color that's inside of Frost. Uh, and what we're going to do is uh, build out the single page. I'll go ahead and click here on blog. You can see here, this is what an archive page looks like with these featured images. And if I click through here, uh, we see this sort of showcase your content with the featured image cover. And this is essentially what we're going to replicate. Uh, in order to do that, I'm going to go in and actually uh, clear out the customizations of this so that we can start from scratch. Uh, so I'm going to go here into the site editor and I'm going to click on templates and single is what we want to rebuild. So this is what I'm going to do. Uh, you go here, I'm going to clear customizations and you can see on screen what's going to happen. It'll just wipe out all the changes that I had made and we'll go read back uh, and build it. So now we're back to a single page. I'm going to go ahead and it's saved. So what we're going to do now is go into back into the single template and we want to edit this, right? Okay, so I'm going to open up these little three lines. That's what's called list view. You can see sort of hierarchical uh, what is uh, on your site. So you've got the header, you've got the footer, which of course, uh, as I scroll down here, controls this. And then this group in the middle is basically all of the content. I'm going to open this up and you can see here that the group has this post title and this entry meta. And then of course the post content. Uh, and then below here, you've got uh, the post, more post meta, the tags and um, categories. And then down here you have comments. So what really what we're trying to rebuild is this top section. Uh, and so I'm gonna just click on this main group down here in the lower right hand corner. I can add a block. Uh, I'm gonna actually add the cover block because that's what we're gonna use. So, uh, and then in order to get it in its own area, I'm gonna move that up here. So now you can see the cover block sits above uh, everything else just below the header. Uh, and then also you can see right here, there's a little bit of space in between the header and this cover block. That's because the theme by default has a block gap installed, which means ultimately uh, in between every set of high level blocks, it adds a gap, in this case, 30 pixels. So what I can do is over here on the right hand side under styles, I can select top margin and I do this often with groups. I just go in and I do this and zero it out. You can see this is a sliding scale and you can visually see uh, what that does is remove, uh, remove that. So what I want to do inside this cover block is uh, use the featured image. Basically what that then does is it says, Hey, inside of this cover block on the single post template, uh, put the featured image, here above this and then it's hard to see because it's in white text but right here you can put uh, anything you want uh, I want to actually do the title uh, because that is what we're trying to pull in and if I go over here and align center tech and then I'm gonna go over here to this you can see the cover block has uh, lots of options uh, an overlay opacity is one of them you can go all the way down to zero which means don't 
overlay it with anything and then you can get it darker as well. So I'm going to maybe put that to like 70 or 80 just to see how things look. Uh, the overlay, I want to use black in this case. And so I'm going to save this and we're just going to take a quick peek and see what this looks like. I will leave this as is so we can use it for reference. Uh, so as you can see here, we're, we're sort of kind of getting there, right? We've just got this here started. We've got um, some of this and we want to make some changes. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and select the title and we're going to change the size maybe to, to 36 to make that a little bit bigger. And then as you can see here, we want to add um, some information. Uh, in this case, we'll just uh, go ahead and add date. Just keep that simple. Again, we want to center that. Uh, what I'll do is go ahead and save it and we could just see our updated version. So uh, we're getting there. Now you can see this actual text here. I'm going to right click and inspect so we can see exactly what size we're talking. So we've we've got 300 font weight. So we'll want to change that. We did a little bit of letter spacing. Uh, and then as we scroll down, we can see there was actually 60, uh, max 60 pixels sizing. So I'm going to go make those changes right here. So I'm reselecting the title. Uh, we want to make this an H1 actually, because this is going to be the uh, title of the single and we're going to go here to typography. I'm going to select 60 pixels to make that a little bit bigger. And we want to make this a little bit thinner. So we go to appearance and we can do light. I will save. And once again, we can see how things look. So a couple things here, uh, this date, we want to make that just a little bit smaller, uh, just because, uh, we want that. Maybe we'll go to 16 pixels and then you can also see there's more spacing here than what we want. Again, this is the block gap that's being applied. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is inside of the cover block, uh, see if there's an option for block spacing, and there is. Again, you can see what this is doing is adding spacing in between the blocks. Uh, and so maybe I wanna just go 10 pixels so that it's a pretty tight fit. So I'll go ahead and hit save. And we've made the text a little bit smaller and we've made the, the font bigger. Now we can see here that uh, this is only going 640 pixels wide, which is the content width. Uh, we can change that setting here inside of the cover block. Uh, right here is an option. It says inner blocks use content width. Uh, so it's set to the main content width, 640 pixels. If I do this, what it does is uh, completely remove that limitation. Uh, that's not what we want, but I'll show you why. Because what that does, oops, what that does is make it go full width. And so we do want to constrain it, but we want to constrain it sort of in between. Uh, and so I'm going to go back and enable that. And let's try maybe 960. What that allows the text to do is uh, span a little bit more, just like we want it to. And so it goes outside of this content area, and you can see what happens there. I'm going to uh, reduce also the opacity here a little bit, just so we can kind of see how things look. So now we've got this. And uh, so this post in particular, I'm going to go change this because I want to show you uh, a little bit more uh, of an interesting way to design this. So this is this post, showcase your content with a featured image. Um, this image being used is a little bit hard to see. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and select this image because I think it's going to present a little bit of a wow factor. I'm going to also go into the editor and I'm going to reset the header, which is currently sort of designed like this. I'm going to remove customizations, which will make the header white with black text. You'll see here as I do that. Uh, and after I go in and unset the group background color, set that to white. Now we've got this. Uh, as I save this, we'll see now what this single post looks like. That's kind of cool. And I will darken the opacity now on the template so we can get a really neat look. So we're going to go back to single posts and make sure we're in list view. We've selected the cover block and we're going to come over here and maybe we'll make this 80. Might be a little dark, but I think that's going to be a very stark contrast. Uh, now you can see here this, uh, the height of this cover has a default. And so as we scroll through here, you can see it says min height. By default, the block just does that. 
Uh, if we want to make that bigger, we can. Selecting the cover block, going to the settings, screen, minimum height of cover. So for some reason, maybe we just wanted it to be taller. So we're going to say 600. That might be quite a bit, but we'll see how this looks. Now it's 600 pixels. So if you're really long titles or you have other things you want to put in here, uh, maybe like a social icons share thing or something like that, you can do that. Uh, or if you want to make it really, really skinny, let's just call it 300 pixels. You could do something like that if you have a different design and you want to keep things a little more above the fold. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and just zero this out and cool. So this is a really interesting way to use the, uh, the cover block with the single posts. And as I said before, uh, I'm going to go ahead and open up the blog, which is now looking like this. We want to kind of recreate this because out of the box, this does not come this way. Uh, and so I'm going to go back into the site editor and I'm going to click here on archive because that's the archive template that we have. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and reset the customizations, which will clear out the changes I had made to get this design. And as we do that, you'll see it just goes right back to uh, a regular format. Uh, let's right click this, open a new tab, and we can see this is what we've got and this is what we want. Uh, so I'm going to go in and edit this. I'm going to pop open list view again. I'm inside of this and I, uh, on my query loop here, and what I really want to do is go into the post template because right here you see in the toolbar the option uh, to change this into a grid view, which is exactly what I want uh, as a place to start. And if we go back to here, you can see that this grid goes the full content of uh, what's called wide, the wide content in Frost, which was 1,200 pixels. Uh, so what we're going to do is select wide width that here is on the archive title and we uh, want to go ahead and center that just to make that and now we're here on the query loop so you can see here it's highlighted and we also want to make that wide width and if we take this limitation of the content width off now you can see that it stretches uh, go ahead and save this and we can see how things look Okay, so now we're kind of getting there. Um, let's start with the, just this topper. This is just an easy thing. We're gonna go back to the group here that the archive title is. Uh, actually gonna make that full width because we want that to span uh, the full width. So I'll just go change the background real quick. Uh, I'm gonna change the text color, which then makes this white, you can see. And of course we wanna add a little bit of padding top and bottom. And let's change the size of this. Uh, maybe to 48 pixels. Go ahead and hit save and we'll see how things look. Got to save it twice. Okay, that's pretty much what we're looking for. Uh, now you can see there's a little bit more space up here as well. Uh, back again to, uh, as I highlight this, you can see there's a white space. This is again the block gap and so it's generally best practice to just go in and zero out these margins. Watch this go up uh, as I zero Oops, I've got to be on the group. Uh, we're going to margin top. Zero that out. And then similarly, just on this group too, we're going to do the same thing. Um, cool. Uh, now what we want to do is we want to change the way this grid loop looks. We can see here we've got quite a bit of difference. We've got featured image. Then we've got the title and just the byline. So the first thing I want to do is go ahead and just... Uh, as you can see, we don't want the excerpt showing at all. So I'm, I've got that selected here in list view. I'm just going to literally hit delete and then it deletes that. And we want to center the title. And here we want to center it. So I've got the row selected. We want to actually go to justification here, which will center this. Um, and then inside of the group where you have all of these items, if you select that and then hit the plus button and then do featured image, you can see now the featured image shows up. I have it selected. I want to just move that up above. And if I hit save, we can take a look and see. Uh, now this these uh, post titles are a little bit too big, so we could do a little bit of cleaning up. So I'm just going to change the size of that by selecting the title. Um, 30 pixels looks like it's the default. We want to maybe make that down to 24. 
Um, similarly, this row, maybe we want to just make that text smaller. Uh, so we'll go down from small to extra small. And then here we've got this group we want to add. Um, I think it's set on the margin. So we've got a bottom margin here on this black section. You can see it's being highlighted. We want to just add more space. So if I hit save, we can go back. And now we've got a featured image uh, that is inside of a archive page template, uh, which is really, really cool. Here, I actually have, I left everything left aligned, but sometimes people like to center things. That's why I showed you that. Uh, so as we click through again, you can see that this goes through. And then one last thing I just noticed is you can see I'm hovering over the featured image here and you may or may not want to have that uh, image be linkable. So you can go back into featured image here and right here on the right hand side, it says link to post. So in the spirit of just helping people navigate through your site easier, you select link to post. And if I save this, you can see now my images, my featured images are um, linkable. So just going to click through back and forth a few times. You can kind of see how this looks harder to see on these darker images. Um, but this is how to showcase your content with the featured image cover. Again, this is using the Frost WordPress theme. I'll link to that in the video notes. If you like this tutorial and you like the things that we're doing here at WP Engine, I invite you to uh, follow our channel, uh, give it a like on the video, and you can find us on Twitter as well. Thank you for watching and feel free to ask any questions you have in the comments or leave a review. Thanks again.